All right, it looks like we are once again live. Welcome everybody to another episode of Yankees America Guns and Freedom Podcast. If you've never been here before, this is just a place to come every day and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests, usually guns and freedom and First Amendment, etc. Uh, sometimes wrestling and cars and other such things. But uh, all you got to do here, if you want to talk to me, is put it over here in the uh, free, uh, freeloader chat. You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. You can talk about yourself. But if yourselves, if you want to talk to me, though, just do it over here and put at the Yankee Marshall, the at symbol, the Yankee Marshall, all one word, no spaces in front of it, and I will see those chats, hopefully. A little red box will pop up around them. I'll try to answer your questions, address your topics. You can even call me out if you think I'm wrong about something. You can come in the live chat and tell me why I'm wrong. You know, I'll give you your time to speak, and then we can hash it out. Uh, uh, like I said, if you do want to talk to me, that's the best. You, that's what I'm here for. Uh, I will try to answer all of them. Can't promise I will because of the way time works. Sometimes I run out of time before I run out of questions. Uh, if I don't get to yours, I apologize. Yesterday, I didn't get to, to any real of the chats in the live chat. There was just so much. I spent so much time bitching, and there were a lot of super chats, so I didn't get to any, like, regular questions. I think I did, did two, maybe. Uh, that happens sometimes. So if I don't get to your questions, I apologize. Uh, if you have something you definitely want answered, or you just want to uh, support Pets and Vets program, you can do a super chat. Super chats get priority. Doesn't matter if they're two dollars or twenty dollars. Uh, also, like I said, they fund the pets and vets program. You can even get entries into the friend drawing, which will be tomorrow, but you'd be in next month's friend drawing uh, if you donate four ninety nine or more. Uh, other ways to get entries into the friend drawing are to become a patron over on Patreon.com uh, or become a WAP member. That's those people over here with those little icons after their name, like Dan Cruz and Mr. Guns and Beer and Dale Rickety and uh, Timmy But Timmy Butson and, and etc. Uh, those are WAP members. Uh, with that, you get that little icon after your name, and you get a free super chat every month and an entry in the friend drawing every month. So the little icon's free after the first month. You're losing money if you don't join, pretty much. Uh, but with that being said, the big difference between being a patron and being a super chatter is super chats. Uh, those go to pets and vets. TYM Triple P is what the recipient of Patreon is. If you want to become a Patreon member, that's TYM Triple P we're supporting. Uh, also, you can buy merch. Merch is supporting pets and vets. Uh, so you can always go over to the – it's actually it's listed right there. You can always go over there. I forgot I'd change that. And uh, – uh, Pick something up over there and the profits go to support pets and vets programs. And you get an entry into the friend drawing for every mug or sticker or anything you buy. And you get two entries into the friend drawing for every shirt you buy. Uh, and like I said, uh, shirt uh, uh, tomorrow will be that drawing. All right, let's see here. Let me, I think, I, I think that's all the spiel. And I don't see any super chats. Uh, so let me go ahead and go over here. And see if there's any regular, 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 as we say in West Virginia, questions coming in. <clears throat> Let me get a drink first. I'm thirsty. I shouldn't be as thirsty as I was yesterday. Yesterday I was thirsty the whole time because bitching takes, drives me out. That's all it was yesterday. I was mad. Oh my gosh, I was mad. <clears throat> uh, I was a little bit mad today, but not as mad. Uh, after I answer this super chat, I'll tell you about it. Uh, Mr. Guns and Beer gifted a membership to somebody. Um, I think it's random who gets it, but they did it. Uh, Light Blue Oyster Cult said, in war between wizard people, not wizard people, lizard people, wizard people, that'd be horrible. Lizard people and sentient robots, whose side would you be on? Do you think the robots would have a monolithic society. Uh, uh, it depends who made the robots and who are they fighting on behalf of. Are they are the robots trying to wipe out all organic life or are they defending human beings from the lizard people because people made them? That would really determine 
Uh, robots is, are tools, so it depends on how that tool is being used, how I would feel about that. Unless, of course, they become sentient and take over, and then I welcome our robot overlords, and I will uh, gladly do as they tell me. But <clears throat> I need to know those things first. Um, oh, well, I was going to say what I was mad about. I got an email from someone today. Uh, it wasn't a running conversation like that last one I shared with you yesterday. But they said, you're, you're such a fraud, blah, blah, blah. I'm paraphrasing here. As soon as you made the money you wanted to make, you deleted your video from yesterday. And they were kind of implying that I deleted it because that way nobody can track that I actually ever did it and that I just profited off of it. I'm like, dude, we, you, people saw the fundraiser start off with next nothing and then get closed in one day. My followers did that, period. That was the goal. Once that goal was reached, I took down that video. <clears throat> because people were still coming into the chat and saying, hey, for Shredder, and we'd already covered Shredder. So I'm like, I don't want people giving under false pretenses now, and I didn't want people going and buying T-shirts and stuff or, or mugs under false pretenses. So I deleted the video so that people didn't go buy something thinking they were supporting Shredder. And yet someone's like, oh, you did that to cover your tracks. I'm like, fuck off. Good God. <clears throat> there is just such a huge percentage of the gun population well, it was not a huge percentage but it's a noticeable percentage there's a lot of them out there that are just angry and uh disillusioned and disenfranchised uh they feel like they've had their you know the right to be something and be happy stolen from them and they usually instead of blaming the people that actually took it from them like the politicians and the big industry, they blame like minorities or anybody else that tries to do something that they themselves don't do or has something that they themselves don't have. Uh, and it's just sad how big of a percentage of the population that makes up in the gun community. Now they're not, I'm not, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, Oh, we need to get rid of these people or just start ignoring these people. No, these are the people that we need to reach out to more than, uh, anybody because they're the people that like i said are disenfranchised and are upset and are and they would benefit more from a you know a, a, a kind hand and a listening ear you know etc than they would anybody just be like fuck them but because you know they do have legitimate reasons why they feel the way they feel you know how they feel disenfranchised how they feel like you know nothing works out for them and blah blah <clears throat> but unfortunately, a lot of them allow themselves to be tainted by their anger and they become bitter and then they become easily manipulated by politicians. And we need to help people stop doing that. Uh, but let me go up here and answer the super chats that have come in real quick. Uh, sentient robots with their own society versus lizard people. I'd still have to know whose interests were, which which group did we have uh, are aligned with our interests. Like if the robots are going to wipe out the lizard people, then they're coming after us. Well, then we're going to side with the lizard people because the enemy of our enemy. So it's going to really matter. Uh, Dale Riggity said, I got nothing, which we all know is a lie. He's got stuff. He just doesn't want us to know about it. Uh, Steve Hoovey, haven't seen that name in a long time. Hello, Yank. Your opinion on a cashless society? Think it will ever happen? Uh, I doubt it will ever happen. Uh, not completely cashless. Uh, it's, I mean, I know it happens in Star Trek, so I guess there's historic precedent for it. But uh, I don't know about whether it'll ever truly fully happen. There'll always be some sort of capital to be traded in, even if it's just luxury items or art or something. Uh, now, do I think we'll always have like paper money and stuff? No. <laughs> but I don't think there will ever be a society where everybody's given everything for free uh because who would work i mean there it will get to a time when that won't be needed uh where which could spur forth a cashless society because if we get to a time where everything we need made is made by robots everything that we need cleaned is cleaned by robots everything we need done is done by robots well then robots don't need to get paid <clears throat> so we could very easily live in a society where just robots do everything and we just have lives of leisure where we're free to uh, pursue 
other types of endeavors like uh you know become more educated more intelligent you know achieve things you know that could happen i don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime but i would hope that that would be a goal um let's see where was i uh evo 357 haven't seen him in a little while not a long while but a little you know days i guess uh good evening yanks for the p's and the v's for the p's and the v's uh bum, bum, bum. all right i'm caught up on the super chats let's get back over here see if there's any questions coming in good evening yo fart that's not a question it's a, it's a statement or a greeting actually which i guess is a statement uh how about a school marshal program like the Sky Marshal program for our schools to deter cowards shooting unarmed kids and teachers? No, I don't want it to be any type of law enforcement at all. I don't like cops in schools. I don't want them putting more armed cops in schools. I think it should be up to the people who run the schools to provide the training and provide the protection. Because here's the thing, when you bring more cops in, they start treat they the side effect of that is they start treating students like criminals. And I don't like that at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm not for cops in schools at all. I would much rather the people that are teaching the kids be responsible for the kids' safety. Let's, I hate to break it to people. It doesn't take years of training to do what a cop does, period. Most of their training is just being told how not to get sued. You know, So uh, anybody can do it. It could be volunteers from... The community, it could be employees of the school. You know, they have maintenance personnel or, or uh, what they, they call these, I forget what they call them, but they're, they have my kid's school. They're just people that are there to help like direct traffic and watch the cafeteria during lunch, etc. There's no reason those people couldn't carry concealed and be helping protect the schools. I mean, how hard would it be to like, you know, hey, we need about, uh, 10 to 12 volunteers who come for half a day each week and or three hours at a time each week, once, you know, uh, every day and, or whatever, and be a volunteer for security and other, you know, administrative aides. That's what they call those people. So, yeah, it's just, you can do that easy. Um, got my prepared bear t-shirt. I'm wearing my prepared bear t-shirt. We're in it right now. You know, I designed this one to where it would look like a little bit of an older T-shirt, a little more faded, uh, so that it would look like something from the Care Bear time. And I actually kind of like the way it looked. I was wondering how it would look. I kind of like it. Uh, although I don't know if the new ones are like that, because for some reason the design looks darker so after what I was editing it the other day. Uh, I think the people that make that are making the T-shirt now decided, oh, that needs to be darker. And I'm like, oh, I G designed it to be lighter so it would look like an older t-shirt um <laughs> i think that street drugs are a much bigger problem in the u.s than guns are well the drugs aren't a problem it's the cartels and the people that profit off the drugs that are the problem and they profit off of it because of the ridiculous war on drugs um boom, 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 boom. Uh, once Narcan became available to buy over the counter, will you carry Narcan with you to help strangers who overdose? No, probably not. It's not my job to help other people, period. So I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to carry Narcan for someone who overdoses. Because here's the thing, what are my chances of ever running into somebody overdose? And if I'm not working for uh, a medical group, you know, first responders, etc., that's their job. They can do it. Um, where was I? Didn't the Fed roll out today? What do you mean the Fed roll out today? Don't understand what that means. Uh, best budget 1911, RIA, Titsos, others. I think the RIA is probably one of the better budget ones. Taurus is a good budget one, although I don't know how expensive they've gotten lately, but uh, they're good ones. Ruger, some people might consider Ruger a budget one, and they make really good ones. <clears throat> the man who chased Kyle Rittenhouse and lost a bicep is changing his name. 
he says he still receives death threats from Rittenhouse supporters, which I don't think he did anything to receive death threats, but some people are assholes. Uh, I finally picked up a python, one of my bucket guns, went with a four inch. That's always a good choice. Very good choice. <clears throat> Give him a drink here. Uh, I've had a little bit of a uh, something in my throat. I was today. I was having a hard time getting through filming the video without coughing. Not coughing like from the chest, like trying to clear my throat. Coughing because you get that little tickle. <clears throat> I have acid reflux anyway that makes me feel like that a lot. So, but today it was just more flimmy. Um. Do you remember the sunrooms in Wendy's restaurants that had the curved glass ceilings in the dining rooms? Well, I remember like the sunrooms. I don't think they were exclusive to Wendy's, but I remember those. Uh, you can get those put on your house too. Um, uh, do, do, do. I got a super chat coming in over here. It was five, four, five by three, nine. Who said Poonva, P and B, one, one, Blah, blah, blah. One pterosaur, one velociraptor, one of each that he has adopted and is paying his parental support for. Uh, he's here late, of course, because it was our five o'clock show. He's always late on our five o'clock shows. Uh, Karashnikev says, buying my first J frame this week, what grips do you recommend for CCW? Uh, I like a three finger grip. Uh, Hogue makes some really good ones. VZ makes some really good ones. Uh, but yeah, I like the, the 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 round butt three finger grips. And I would pick up a gun and show it to you if I was allowed to do that anymore because I have several options behind me. Uh, Steve Hoovy says, does your wife carry a gun? If so, what kind? I am the only person in my family that carries a gun. Uh, well, not extended family now, like because I know, like my uh, my cut, my nephew carries a gun. I think my brother carries a gun. My sister might carry one for all I know. Uh, Misty, I don't know. Uh, I don't ask. I know my sister Carol owns one, but I don't think she carries it every day. But well, she goes to work. She can't have it at work, so because she works security. So, but no, I'm the only one in my immediate family that carries. <clears throat> Caden's not old enough. Well, he will be if they strike down the age requirement things. He's not old enough yet. And he's not mature enough yet either. So that's why I don't I don't like the whole idea of 18-year-olds being able to do anything. They're just not mature enough. Uh do uh your favorite gym Glock. Well, probably five, because my favorite Glock is that new. Uh, Glock 20. I mean, for that, I really did like the fours, but probably going to give a nod to the fives. Can you recommend a smaller EDC pistol? Smaller than what? Smaller than a tank or smaller than, you know, a, a J frame? That depends on what you're saying there. But yeah, there's all kinds of good small pistols. <clears throat> uh, the Glock. Single stack ones, the little ones, the Glock double stack, like the 26, uh, uh, J frame revolvers, like the Smith and Wesson 630, uh, 360 PD, uh, uh, smaller, uh, 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 way columns, uh, SIGs, like the P239. I don't know what size you mean by smaller. So, um, let me make sure I'm caught up over here. I am. Uh, Need three miles an hour because I ain't gone nowhere. I don't plan on it. it. Snowed again last night, so we got about three or four inches of new snow out there. So uh, if I did go anywhere, I'd go in the truck uh, because I ain't taking the 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 Camaro out on these roads. Even though it's only bad to the bottom of our hill, then it's fine. But still, I don't want to go over the, There's a lot of places on our road that if you go off the road, well, first thing to stop you is going to be some trees about 50, at least 50 feet down. So the embankment. So <clears throat> I kind of want to avoid that if I can. Uh, Robert Kennedy, 
did his WAP chat, his 26 month WAP chat. It says Kimber 1911 Custom 2 10 millimeter bought a unicorn, had to fix one issue. Thank God. God. Uh, those are nice. I like those. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 10 millimeter Kimbers. I've got some, no wait, I don't have any more 10 millimeter Kimbers, but I like them. I want that camp guard. That's the one I really want. Um, let's see, where was I over here? High school students in Nashville are planning a walkout for April 5th to protest people's gun rights in Tennessee. I mean, protest the right, the fact that people have gun rights? Well, that's kind of un-American, but, you know, more power to them. Protest is a right. Uh, although I don't think they're too young. Let's see. It's bad thing about when young people protest is that since they don't know anything, their protests usually aren't the best. Uh, Yukon Cornelius here checking in, asking what the difference between J frame and K frame other than letter frames. Well, size. That's the uh, the size uh, demarcation, I guess you would call it. Uh, J frames are their smallest framed pistols. K frames are bigger. L frames are a little bigger than K frames. N frames are bigger than K or L frames. And X frames are even bigger than the N frames. Uh, when you're looking at J frames, you're usually either looking at uh, 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 38 special guns if they're lightweight, or 357 Magnum and five shot variances or variations. Uh, in K frames, you're usually looking at six shot guns, so they're a little bigger. Uh, 357 Magnum usually a little bigger. Uh, L frames are even a little bit bigger than the K, and they can usually get seven rounds in a lot of their models. Some of them still have only six, but a lot of them can get seven when you're looking at 357 Magnum. Uh, in frames, that's usually when they go up to, you know, larger calibers, like 45 Colt or 44 Magnum, more specifically. You can still get them in 357, and you can get eight rounds in those. But, uh, 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 they're usually the higher caliber guns, like the, like I said, the 44 Magnums. Now, the X frames, they don't really make any X frames that I'm aware of in 357 Magnum. I'm sure they could make 10 round ones, but there's no point in it because the X frames are really reserved for really, really big calibers. You know, like 460, uh, 454 Casul, 500. So that's the really big, like the one you see right there. That's a that's a X frame. So <clears throat> that's basically the differences right there. And then you got the weirdos, the uh, 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 like the governor's frames and stuff. Make sure I'm caught up over here on the super chats. I am. Uh, da, da. Let me get back over here. Oops, why did that jump like that? Is that a black cherry propel? I'm drinking a black cherry propel out of bottle exactly like that right now. Uh, is yours the 24 fluid ounce one? That's what I'm drinking, the 24 fluid ounce. But yes, it is black cherry propel. I like the propel waters, except for I don't like the peach. Uh, and I don't like the mixed berry. I don't know why I don't like the mixed berry. I mean, I can drink the mixed berry, but for some reason I don't like like it like it because, and I don't know why, because it kind of has a raspberry taste and I love raspberry things like snow cones, etc. but don't like the propel in the raspberry flavor. Um, students were at the Capitol today yelling, ban assault weapons, ban assault weapons. Well, like I said, kids will be kids. They're not very smart. Uh, a Sikh-run business in Vancouver, BC, refuses to provide bikini waxes for male to female trans customers because the female employees don't want to see male private parts. So you say men can't get waxed either? Most places will wax men, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Yeah, sounds to me like 
maybe they just have some religious issues. Because if you're waxing men, why wouldn't you relax, wax men to fe male to female? Uh, and men can usually get waxed in these places. You, but So I don't understand what the problem would be. Now, if they don't wax men, period, well, I don't got a problem with that at all. If they say no male, no male, no one with male genitalia because we have female waxers and they don't want to see that, I don't see a problem with that at all. Um, uh, we got a super chat over here. Got to answer real quick. Uh, Light Blue Oyster Cult says, you're on crabs side even above mammals, right? What? Crabs. Everything evolves into crabs eventually. To side with mammals over crab is to... I don't get that at all. I don't think we all evolve into crabs eventually. Crabs is, crabs are pretty far down on the evolutionary scale. More things have evolved from animals that were the same ancestors of crabs. You know, the same animals that evolved into crabs evolved into other things that went on to become other things. So I don't think we do all evolve all into crabs. Uh, I don't. I hope not. I don't want my great grandchildren to be crabs. Uh, Matthias donated to the Pets and Vets Fund. Says DeSantis signed constitutional carry into law today. It's actually permitless carry. Uh, the anti-gun groups are super pissed. It's a good get day. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's it's all it's like like I said. I think it's more important than just. Uh, Florida passing it, it's even more important than other states passing it or the fact that there's one more state passing it and the fact that it's the 26th state that passes it. And therefore, uh, more than half the states now have some type of permitless carry, which it is not constitutional carry, but still a huge victory. Uh, light blue oyster cult says, look up carcinization, everything becomes a crab. I don't think that that's actually a true thing. Uh, we can look it up. But, but uh, Getting my degree, uh, carcinization is an example of convergent evolution in which crustaceous uh, evolves into a crab-like form from a non-crab-like form. By biology, by a little bit able to describe it as one of the many attempts of nature to evolve the crab. I don't think it says all life becomes a crab. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's what it's saying at all. Because, yeah, I don't think, you know, like monkeys aren't evolving backwards into crabs. Uh, mammals aren't evolving backwards into fish. You know, even when mammals go back to the water, even though they evolved from, from fish you know, far enough back, even evolutionarily speaking, when they have gone back to the water, like whales, and they still stay mammals. They don't become fish again. Um, boom, boom, boom. Crab leg meat is delicious. I do like crab legs. It's one of the few uh, seafoods that I really, really like is crab legs. Love me some crab legs. Used to be you could go to Red Lobster and on Wednesday and Thursday nights, they used to do a lot of time for an extra 10 bucks. You could, if, to, if you bought a meal for an extra $10, or I think it was $5 with coupon, you got limitless crab legs. Like you could have as many crab legs as you could eat there and the rest, you couldn't take them home with you or anything. Although I caught people doing it many times. I usually didn't care. Let them do it. I don't care. Uh, but, uh, because I used to work at a Red Lobster. I took a break for a while while I was in Huntsville. Uh, took a break for almost a year and waited, waited tables at Red Lobster. Because every now and then you got to take a break just to get out of your fucking profession. And I've done it many times. I took a break between working at Marshall Space Flight Center and becoming, uh, you know, the class coordinator at Michael's Arts and Crafts. And I worked a year waiting tables. Uh, and then after, and Michael's was kind of a break too. And then I went back to mental health care again. And then I took a break and I sold cars and then went back to mental health care again. And then I took a break 
and flipped houses and then never went back to mental health care again because I found out, oh, you can make actual money doing this. Um, someone asked me that. Someone asked me their date and email. Do I have pictures of before and afters of my flips? I do have pictures of before and afters. I found a few that if, that if we did. Uh, we they weren't nothing fancy. We specialized in taking uh, places in areas that were on the decline and trying to fix them up and at reasonable prices. You know, things we could get very cheap but still sell at an affordable price. Uh, to try to help raise up lower areas. Uh, and I didn't go try to find a shit box in a good neighborhood. Well, that's how you make the most money. But we were very successful because we decided, hey, we're going to find areas that are, you know, on the verge. They could go either way. They could start getting better or getting worse and then try to help them get better. Uh, Joe Goff says, got a haircut today. High and tight, of course. My barber nicked the back of my neck with the straight razor didn't even feel it whatever the heck he put on it nearly made me jump out of the chair well yeah he probably just put some like something alcohol based on it like a aftershave or something uh it's like after you shave and then you put slap aftershave on it's like it's one of the reasons i don't shave i don't like the aftershave uh a nominal snowman I donated to the Pets and Vets Fund says, life is cost prohibitive. Guns are cheap. Buy $10 coffees and don't make eye contact with the homeless. We're one mistake away from them plus a cab. Not everyone is one step away from homeless. Uh, I mean, that, that statement is so all over the place. I'm not sure what point you're trying to make. But not everyone's one step away from homeless. Some people are a lot closer to it than others. Uh, guns aren't all that cheap. I wouldn't say that. Some guns are, but not all guns. Uh, and I don't ever buy a ten dollars coffee. I don't. You know, I've never bought coffee out of the house. I just haven't ever done it. I mean, I've drank free coffee when I'm like at Shot Show or something, and it's free. Because at cough, at Shot Show, they used to. They didn't this year. They used to have a coffee bar there where you could go make coffee and they had like the sticks with the crystallized sugar on them that you could use to stir the sugar, you know, make your coffee sweeter. They had white chocolate shavings you could put in it. They had a really nice coffee bar. So I drank coffee there because it's free, but I have never paid for coffee someplace. I just don't do it. I drink it at home, but never uh, buy it anywhere. Much less $10 for coffee. Ugh. I'm not a big coffee drinker. Uh, I mainly use coffee, not even as a wake me up. Most people, you know, use coffee to wake up in the mornings. I have coffee in the morning not to wake up because I'm one of these people like my eyes open. I'm awake. You know, I'm not like one of the, Ugh, you know, unfortunately, I married someone who is like, don't talk to me for two hours after they wake up. They have to have like two or three cups of coffee and slink around the house like some sort of monster. Uh, but when I wake up, I'm awake. So I don't need coffee for that. What I use coffee as is kind of a appetite suppressant in the mornings. You know, it keeps me from, instead of sitting around and starting snacking, I drink a cup of coffee and I feel more like doing what I need to do. Uh, let me see if I'm caught up over here. I think that might have been the last one. Yes, it was. Joe Goff was the one before that. Uh, let's get over here. Um, uh, Propel grape is the best. I like the grape. I like the, you know, the black cherry, the grape. I also like the kiwi strawberry a lot. Uh, and I can drink the orange. I just don't like the peach and I don't care for the mixed berry. I don't like the peach at all. Gross, but I don't care for the uh, the big berry. Uh, I like root beer flavored seltzer water. I've never tried root beer flavored seltzer water. I can't imagine I would barely love it, but I you never know. Many oops, do that. Many land animal ancestors, many land animals ancestors came from the water and evolved to live on land, so I don't think we're going to become crabs. Well, no, we're not going to become crabs. That's what I said. 
we did come from the similar you know if you go back far enough everybody's related you know like if you go back far enough you find the first humans where they came from and then they spread from there if you go back further from them you'll find an ancestor that where did the uh, apes come from the greater apes you know a common ancestor that all of us have and if you go back even further primates in general where did they come from all you can find us a uh, 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 a common ancestor that we all the, the originating point basically if you go back far enough we're all related to the same amoebas uh anonymous snowman says my WAP chat yesterday i got all my sbr trap amnesty stamps back last week how long before atf hunts me down i don't know uh, probably never but, but we'll see and if it is if they do it won't be about that uh don't have a dog so they'll shoot me instead well at least you don't shoot your dog that's the good thing because if we hear a story and we like oh my god the, they came and got a nominal snowman and they shot him and i'm and they say but he, they didn't shoot any dogs we'll be like whoo you know because that'll be at least the, the upside to the story they didn't shoot any dogs um, the thing about the propel grape though is it's not purple it's just clear so you don't get us call it purple drink because it's not purple why are italian firearms so sexy well it's because italians put a lot of emphasis on design on their cars on their uh, furniture and everything Um, uh, all mammals are descended from a weasel like creature called purgatorius like i say if you go back far enough you find and not just what you know if you go back even further you'll find that like uh lizards and mammals have a common ancestor just you just gotta go back far enough because we all crawled out of the same soup at one time or another the problem I think a lot of people have with evolution is they think along because you'll hear people say like if we evolved from monkeys why are there still monkeys well I'm like well that's simple it's a simple answer and if you weren't an idiot you'd know that uh, because we didn't evolve directly from monkeys we evolved from a common ancestor with monkeys when you go back in the tree the, the geology tree or, or not geology genealogy tree uh we had a common ancestor it split off they, one of them went to the trees one of them went to the plains some of them went to the ocean you know the beaches etc and they continued to evolve from there uh natural selection chose which traits survived and got passed on and made them a little different and a little more different and a little more different they didn't need to evolve further. They found their niche. Um, doo, doo, doo. Uh, 5K to supercharge Miata, yes or no? Ooh, I wouldn't, to be honest. I think one of the things about Miata, and everybody knows I like superchargers and stuff, but one of the best things about Miata is they're not overpowered. They're small, they're light, and you can toss them around a little bit without worrying about them getting too out of hand. If you supercharge them and you start getting into power levels you shouldn't have on that car, well, then you do worry about uh, get, getting out of hand. Uh, if I was going to do anything, a turbo. You know, I've seen a lot of Miatas that get turboed, and it makes enough of a difference that it just makes them more fun, but doesn't make them really dangerous. Supercharging, mm, I don't know. That seems like it could could easily get out of hand. And I love superchargers. Uh, Jameson Hurley says for the P's and the V's. Today's my birthday. Took all my Berettas out for a Monday fun day at the range. Well, that sounds fun. Uh, I couldn't do that. Uh, I'd have to take a lot of guns if I took all my Berettas. How many Berettas do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'd have to take twenty guns. That's a lot of guns to carry at one time. 
Uh, but I, I bet that was fun, though. And happy birthday. If it is indeed your birthday, I'm going to have to see some ID before you get anything free, just so you know. They ain't still going get anything free. <clears throat> uh, we got a four-month WAP chat from Robert Edwards. Any recommendations for a good AR, AK style shotgun? I want one, but on a budget. Well, do you want good or do you want on a budget? Those are two different questions. Uh, if someone just said AK shotgun, I'm going to recommend the Vepper. They make a, an amazing one. Uh, other than that, there's a lot of other ones out there. I don't know if any of them are particularly budget. The compressor just kicked off. Uh, my air compressor for, you know, like filled car tires and stuff. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily budget, but I'll say the best of the bunch is I think the Beppers. Uh, and I haven't kind of copped up a lot on the newer ones, but because I have a Vepper one. Um, amazingly, the Vermont legislature is taking Bruin into account when presenting bills, but they admit the new bill guaranteed to pass will most likely be overturned. Yeah, that's people in Washington know the same thing, but they were paid to do a thing and they're going to do the thing. Or else they will get primaried in the next election by their own party and not their campaigns won't get funded because they didn't do the thing they were paid to do. They got to save some work. They're going to get on the treadmill after this. Let's put. <clears throat> The lid back on here. Good Lord. I always put the lid back on because I have knocked my drink over so much at the table. So. Uh, low speed, high drag donated to the Pets and Pets Fund said, been gone for a week. What I miss? Nothing. Not much. You missed me throwing a fit yesterday. But other than that, not much. And I do that all the time, so it's not like that's new or anything. Uh... I did lose a lot of subs yesterday doing that, but I don't care. We ended up in negatives for subs yesterday. Lost a couple of uh, patrons, but, you know, overall, wasn't that bad. What was I going to look at? Oh, I wanted to look at today's video if that pissed anybody off. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it pissed anybody off or not. Can't tell you. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. <laughs> I made it to the chat because I'm out of work due to a neck injury. Shit sucks. Moving like Frankenstein. Well, yeah, you shouldn't. You got to be careful. Remember, tell them, you know, no, you do not put your hand on the back of my head. It'll throw off my rhythm and I'll hurt my neck. That's that's a rookie mistake right there. When you let them put your their hands on the back of your head. Uh, that's one women, women, reason women don't like that. Um, where are we at? Got haircut. Spoiler alert. I've been bald since 1987. Well, then why'd you get a haircut? I don't get haircuts anymore. Like basically for that reason. Uh, let me text my son something real quick. Uh, uh, he's doing stuff here and it's not going through it says you are being declined because of wrong expiration date mm -hmm. Um, uh, you mentioned a funny story about working in mental health. You told your clients that no matter what they were going to do, they better not spit on you. Well, yeah, I always told them that. Tell them all the time. Because every, all the counselors eventually got spit on. Uh, therapists, whatever. You got, you got spit on usually by people. I did not get spit on by people because I very, uh, honestly and sincerely told people when they first came into my care when i took on a new case i would be like listen i understand life is not great for you 
you're in survival mode a lot of the time and you're going to do things that you wouldn't normally do you might hit me you'll call me names you'll kick me you could do all those things i i'm the big guy i can take it i was like and i will still do what's best for you but if you ever spit on me i'll put you through a fucking wall and quit this job tomorrow and uh, never really got spit on um <clears throat> excuse me uh anomalous snowman says 60 plus hours a week manual labor neck not used to gas masks were required to wear now apparently sulfuric acid and hydrogen sulfide isn't osha approved i don't think it is You're not supposed to mix certain things or breathe certain things it's just not good for you of course you can always tell them i know what's best for me and See if they'll let you get a waiver. Tell them you got a medical condition that you can't wear a gas mask and see what they say. And then when you drop dead at work, they'll just be like, good. Eh. <clears throat> uh, I scream and slap cheeks like Home Alone scene when I shave my face. It stings. What shirt hat say? The hat just says Ruger. And the shirt is the prepared bear shirt. Prepared bear. Uh, after shave lets you know you're alive. I already knew I was alive before I put it on. I don't need that kind of a, a reminder. Where am I at? Uh, if somebody practices crab style kung fu, then they're accelerating their own evolution into a crab. Oh, well, I don't know about that either. I don't know even what crab style is. I'm sure it's a thing, but I. You know, I think I remember stuff like that about like in the old movies we used to watch. So like it was on Sunday afternoons, the old uh, karate movies. What other hobbies do you have other than firearms? Uh, cars. I like cars, working on cars. I like animation and comic books. Uh, uh, what else do I like? That's about it. I don't got a lot of things I need to do. I don't, don't need a lot of hobbies. I like to bowl. I'm actually a pretty good bowler. I've got bowling trophies around here somewhere, plaques and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I think they're out there. But, uh, I used to love to play pool. I don't play pool anymore because I got to go to bars to play pool and I'm just not into going to bars anymore because most of them are nightclubs these days. And like I said, that bass music makes my titties jiggle too much and it chafes my nipples. So don't do that anymore. So we are all distantly related to Biden. Damn, that may, well, we're related to Biden as we're all the same species. Uh, is there a Tim Hortons donuts near you? No, I think they're a Canadian thing, aren't they? We definitely don't have them around here. You were talking, you were talking about the war on drugs pisses me off judges sentencing people to prison for having a little marijuana. Well, a lot of the times they don't have a choice. There's a very strict sentencing guideline for drug possession. That's why a lot of states have been trying to change that shit. But that stuff got lobbied for by big money interests that run the for-profit prisons. They're like, hey, if every time you get somebody with a little bit of marijuana, you send them to us for six months, that'll make us a fortune. And then they'll be back out on the street and then they can do it again and you can send it to us and they'll make us a fortune because they're not violent. It doesn't take a lot of effort to keep them in prison. We don't have a lot of guards. There's not a lot of violence because they're low violence offenders. So if you send all of them to us, we'll give you a little kickback every month. Um, superchargers seem to work better on the Miata more even power and lower boost people say the turbo kits hit too hard and break loose once lag winds out i don't think that's true i think a lot of people who don't know how to properly install the right turbo kits think that uh, where am I at? uh we got another super chat over here <clears throat> over here over here uh, anonymous, no, anonymous snowman says like animation, never watch smiling friends. No, I like more classic animation. I like Disney Warner brothers. 
and I like modern comedy animation, like, you know, American Dad, Family Guy, Simpsons, all that stuff too. Uh, 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 Rick and Morty, what's the other one that they do the, about the aliens? I like that one. But uh, I don't like anime at all. Never liked anime. Even when I was a kid, I'm like, Speed Racer sucks. Uh, so never been a fan of that. I And like Guardians of the, whatever it was, Guardians of the Galaxy, or not Guardians of the Galaxy, what was their name? Space Force or whatever it was. You know, where they were all birds. Uh, never liked that one either. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do. Magnum PA. <laughs> Uh, Yank, what are the Ruger anal analogies for JKLX frames? Well, they don't really have one, but what the fuck was that? Oh, I was kidding. Uh, they're small guns. They're not, they're not broken into the categories like frames. They just do it by model. The SP, uh, SP-101s and the LCRs are their smalls. Those are kind of like J-frames. Their GP-100s, well, that's kind of like uh, uh, the KL frames, you know, the mid-size guns that can get, you know, six to seven, three, three, seven Magnum or five forty fours or whatever in those. Uh, and then when you get into like the Red Hawks, that's a little bit bigger. You know, that's uh, the 44 Magnums and, you know, six shots of and etc. And then when you get into the super, so those are kind of like the end frames. And then when you get into the super Red Hawks, that's like their X frame guns. That's the 454 Casuals, the 480 Rugers, etc. But they don't do it by frame size. They do it by model. And then you also have the... Uh, single action models like the Vaqueros and stuff. That's more of like an L frame gun and the Blackhawks more like an M frame gun. So, but they don't do it like that. They, they don't have like a category where you can just go and say, show me the mid size gun. You have to go look at GP 100s. You know. uh, hope that answered the question. Jacoby says, are you a luxurious shower kind of guy or an enriching bath kind of guy? Neither. I don't like either. I hate showering with a passion. I don't even con contemplate taking a bath. Uh, and I hate the shower. I just It seems like the biggest fucking waste of my time. I don't like it. If I didn't have to, I wouldn't do it. If there was like, if they found a way that, you know, uh, like if you, They've created a little archway that you just had to get naked and walk through and it electronically or somehow killed all the bacteria or well, bad bacteria. You don't kill all the bacteria uh, and cleaned you off. I'll do that. I don't want to take no shower. I hate it. And as soon as I get in the shower, I'm get in, get clean, get out. Uh, if a shower lasts five minutes for me, that's unusual. I don't, I'm it's usually like two to three minutes and I'm out. Uh, just not interested in them. I don't like them. Uh, Felix P, I got something for the P's and the V's. Uh, Greg Wood also donated. And I, like I always say, he never tells us what Greg Wood. Uh, is there any company specifically for old gun parts? Specifically for old parts? No. Your best bet is to go on a gun broker for that. Uh, but for gun parts, uh, Numerich is the best place to go for gun parts, period. Or how, I'm not sure how you pronounce their name, but I've always just called them Numerich. Some people call them Numeric or whatever, but it's spelled N-U-M-R-I-C-H, Numerich. Uh, gun parts, and that's like the best place to go for gun parts. That's where I go all the time. N U M R I C H dot com. Actually, I think their I think their website is uh, gun parts dot gun parts something dot com. But it's just basically type in gun parts into your browser, and it'll come up. Uh, do, do, do. Yes, no, someone, uh, uh, Novel Snowman says, Numerous gun parts was good. 
was good. I think they still is good. Are they out of business? I don't know. It says here they open at 8 a.m. on Tuesday, so I don't think they're out of business. Uh, where are we at? Do, 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 how much time we got left? Oh, we only got like five minutes left, and then I got to get on the treadmill. So, um, where am I? Over here. A creationist act that alligators and caimans didn't split from a common ancestor and that they're just variations of the same creature. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's also ridiculous to think that every animal that exists or has existed was all, you know, around at the same time. If there was no evolution and it was all creationism, that means billy goats and T-Rexes were occupying the same world at the same time. And it makes no sense. Uh, will I be banned for saying you look Cute like a Muppet, it's a compliment. Well, I would never take being called a Muppet as a bad thing. I like Muppets. I like the Muppets. Big fan. Big fan of the Muppets. I like Animal quite a bit. I like uh, Baker. I like uh, Kermit, of course. And, uh, who else? Am I, who would I say is my favorite Muppet? I don't know. Miss Piggy's probably my favorite Muppet. But, you know, I like Gonzo and Fozzie Bear. But I'd say Miss Piggy's probably my favorite Muppet because, one, she's badass, and, two, she's got it going on. So, <clears throat> beautiful, nothing, nothing better than a beautiful badass. <clears throat> Pepe the Prawn, yeah, he's a supporting character at best. Uh, he's been more popular in recent times, I guess, but... Uh, how's kidney and toe? Toes feeling a lot better. Uh, kidney haven't had, I have been having some back pain today, so I'm hoping that's not that starting back up. But, uh, and your Alaskan Red Hawk. Uh, Red Hawk's doing well. I can carry it quite a bit. Well, when I carry, I don't leave the house a lot. So, <clears throat> is it okay to dry fire my new Kiapa Rhino? Well, yes, it is okay to dry fire. Now, I would use snap caps just because I always do, just to be perfectly safe and be, you know. But, yeah. <coughs> uh, someone asked how contractors can find customers. I was thinking the same, actually. You mean how contractors can find customers? Contractors for what? Uh, someone at the Antiques Roadshow actually had a dollhouse made in the year 2000 appraised. The doll has lost value. The doll, well, yeah, there was big collectible cra craze back in the day, and it's kind of faded away. Some collectible stuff has lost a lot of value. Comic books, I have, I own comic books that are right now worth like 500 bucks, if that, that were worth like seven, eight thousand dollars at one point. Um, yeah, and it sucks that I didn't sell them back in the day, but I thought, well, if they're worth this much now, think how much they'll be worth when I'm a hundred. Um, when I was 20, they were worth a fortune. Now that I'm 50, they are not worth shit. Used to be you take a box of old comic books into a comic book store and they buy certain ones of them, they give good prices for them. Now you can take your entire collection and they're basically like, okay, I, I don't want most of them, but the ones I do want, I'll give you 10 cents a piece for. <clears throat> so, yeah. Market has a collapsed. I made it to the chat because, oh, I read that already. I have arm and shoulder problems and wrist problems. If Elio handcuffs me, I'll be screaming all over the news. I don't like having a hand put behind my back too either. I don't like being constrained. I have bad uh, 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 claustrophobia. So the, the few times I've been handcuffed, I did not care for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no more beanie babies. Yeah, the be I've got some beanie babies that used to be really valuable too that aren't now. <laughs> I actually did once, though, sell a Beanie Baby for a lot of money. Actually, I had three of them. I sold two of them. Uh, I had a, a Winnie the Pooh in a bunny suit. And apparently, it went from being worth like $12 to 
to like $1,500 each. And I sold two of them for like three grand. Uh, I kept one thinking, well, it'll go up more in value. Now it ain't worth nothing. But uh, at least that I capitalized on a little bit. And I made money off of, uh, I used to work part-time at the Warner Brothers store to get the discount. When they came out with the Wizard of the Oz, Wizard of Oz beanie collection, I bought like six complete sets of them. And I think like a six set, yeah, I think the set uh, had like, like six beanies or eight beanies or something like that. So it was like a total of like a hundred bucks a set. I think I sold them for like 500 bucks a set, like within a week on eBay. So made quite a bit of profit off that too. Uh, Michael Turner says, is it okay? Oh, I read that, didn't I? Uh, eggplant hinge. That's who uh, uh, I'm supposed to be talking to right now. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that, I don't think that's a question. That might be them having a stroke. Uh, Mitch, Mitch Wav 77 says, Peas and bees, hey, Yank. Was that guy Leonardo DiCaprio, Sean Penn, Matt Damon, Johnny Depp, Ed Norton, or Chris Tucker? Uh, you know, I think it might have been Ed Norton. Now that I think about it. So I'll have to read, I'll have to check, verify my, my memory that I'm not having a spasm, but I think it might have been Ed Norton. Because I would have known who he was. And, and he was like friends with one of the other people. But it wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio. I know they're big friends. No, not Ed Norton. It's not Ed Norton that's friends with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's, uh, what's the guy who played Spider-Man? Toby, M no, is that his name? Toby McGuire? Him and Leonardo DiCaprio have been friends since they were kids. Um, bum, 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 bum. Do, do, do. All right, where was I? I think I got everything answered. We are out of time. We're out of time. Was it Neil deGrasse Tyson? He's a pretty big space kind of guy. Yeah, he wasn't famous back then, and he wasn't very old back then either. Uh, well, you got to remember, this was like 94, somewhere around that time. 93 to 95, something in that time frame. So I was a lot younger. Uh but uh, we are out of time. I got one more super chat coming in here. I got to get real quick. Here's another friend drawing entry. But do you think buying a cell phone and a firearm are kind of the same when it comes to quality and price? Uh, well, I mean, I think so. I mean, like if you want to pay more for little little differences and all the bells and whistles, you pay more for a cell phone. But that doesn't mean you got to pay a fortune to get a good cell phone. There's cell phones that are perfectly good little cell phones that can do everything you need them to do for a very affordable price but a lot of people will pay a lot more for just a little bit better and that that's analogous i would say but uh uh doo -doo -doo. Uh, but uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. I do appreciate it. Thanks for everyone uh, helping support Pets and Vets. Thanks to everyone yesterday. Oh, I didn't read. I One thing I didn't do yesterday that I wanted to do, uh, and I didn't. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. I didn't read the names of people that donated to help uh, uh, with the Pets and Vets uh, program to save Shredder yesterday. I'll read those tomorrow. Because, you know, there's like 30 something of them. So it'll take me a few minutes to read them. Sold a lot of mugs. I've, I went through, I mean, sold so many mugs and some stickers. But, hey, it got the job done. We got it done in a day. So <clears throat> thanks to everybody who participated in that. Thanks to everybody who just comes to the chats and comments and keeps the chat rolling. Thanks to everybody who watches the video, especially those who thumb it up. You know, I like to be thumbed up every now and then. Who doesn't like to thumb up every now and then? Uh, so thanks to everyone for everything you do for the channel. I do appreciate it. Uh, I think never enough ammo should have started by now. Has he? Let's see. Uh, yes, he is live. I will put his, uh, link in here real quick. There it is. Go on over to that. I'll pin it at the top going over there for more pro freedom conversation. And I'll see you all again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe.
Until I see you again.